Okay, so here's, let's draw a little block, whoops, block of lucite. Oh, come on. Oh, look at that, that's pretty good, right? Here's our lucite, right? Okay, uh, and the deal with this is that, that uh, remember that, remember that these, these angles that we're talking about are always angles with this. And the deal is this, is if we, if we come in here at, two glan at a glancing blow like that, right? that this angle here coming out is basically 90 degrees, right? Okay, so you make this angle, I'm gonna call this theta two, right? I'm gonna call that, I'm gonna make that guy 90 degrees, right? Here is the fast medium, which is 1.00, right? And then this angle here is gonna be my critical angle, right? And this is our slow medium, this is 1.51 because it's our lucite, right? So this is my N1, this is my theta one. And the way I do that is I always do like where it starts out and where it ends up, right? So the critical angle is when you make the refracted angle in the fast medium 90 degrees. That means it doesn't really come out in there parallel to the surface. It really actually bounces like that at the critical angle. It will reflect. And this, of course, explains fiber optics and all of this good stuff, right? Um, so anyway, um, let's just set that thing up. N1 sine theta one is n2 sine theta 2, right? And this is going to be my slow to fast, which makes this n smaller than this one, right? So I go 1.51 times the sine of the critical angle, I'll call it theta c, equals n2, in this case is 1.00, that's our fast, sine of, and you make this guy 90 degrees, right? Whoops. <laughs> Why is my degree sign down there? I just showed you. Okay. And then if you recall, uh, the sign of uh, 90 degrees is 1. And here we've got a 1 there as well, right? So uh, theta, the critical angle, ends up being um, the inverse sine of uh, 1.00 divided by uh, 1.51. And it's always going to be the same thing. It's always going to be the, uh, it's always the same general form. It's the inverse sine of the... Um, ratio of the indices of refraction. It's always, of course, the fast one on top and the slow one on the bottom because that gives you, inside the parentheses, this number is less than one and that's the only thing you can take an inverse sine of. So you can never get the wrong angle by getting the indices of refraction in the wrong place. You'll just get an undefined answer on your calculator if you're silly enough to try to find the inverse sine of a number bigger than one. Okay, so um, let's just do this. Inverse sine, second sine of one divided by 1.51 and I get 41.47 degrees, right? Where does this, in which substance does the critical angle occur? Well, the critical angle is happening in the loose site right there, right? Okay, so it always is, it always is that you can't get from slow to fast. You can always get from fast to slow. A, a, light, a, a beam of light just glancing this thing hits it and it's gonna bend down into it. It's that you can't get from slow to fast.